Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to compare fast drying polishes. So we're going to compare Sashvit, which is really famous for its quick drying properties and dazzle dry system. So dazzle dry has to be used as a system. So we are not going to just um, do the top coat and you'll see why as I'm doing the video. And the Sashvit is going to be tested over RPI their traditional line and I'm using the natural nail base coat and the color in Suzy Talks with her hands, one of my favorite colors. And the Nazo Dry is going to be Panache. Panache. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this on two nails. So this is going to go pretty quickly. It is very important to dry the, the, um, the coats in between the coats <laughs> and use pretty thin coats. So we're going to follow that to make sure that we dry it properly. All right, and let's go with Dazzle Dry base coat. Dazzle Dry base coat, just generally Dazzle Dry has a quite a different formula. So this feels quite watery. Now, as you can see, this bottle needs to be cleaned. Very important step. I'm going to clean it now. And the reason why it needs to be cleaned because we want a perfect seal. Once the brush is in the bottle, we want the seal to be perfect so no air gets in, so the polish doesn't dry. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this with pure acetone. And that's a new bottle, correct? Yeah, pretty new bottle, but it happens, you know? Mm -hmm. The polish gets on the uh, neck. neck of the bottle. So normally both base coats, by the time you are finished applying all 10 nails, they will be both dry. So there is no additional drying time per se when it comes to the base coats. It is important for the base coat to dry uh, fully and you will see that when it dries, you start seeing little texture peeking through. Mm -hmm. Dazzle dry base coat must, must be dried properly before you apply the polish because if there is any um, shiny spots, the polish will stick to it. It's Trust me, Dazzle Dry is a very, very different system, so you kind of have to learn it to be successful with it. So they look like they both dried, I would say, at the same time. The base coat, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do first coat of colors. Susie talks with her hands. Oopsie. There's a bit of a polish. And the first coat, I like to use a little bit of pressure while applying the first coat to make it nice and thin, thinner. And now Dazzle Dry Panache. This one also has a fantastic formula. It's a little bit cooler than the um, RPI shade but I love it too. It's a very, very good color. Okay, now let's let's see how long this dries. I normally give um, the nails about two minutes, two minutes to dry once I'm finished applying all of the nails. So let's just see how this looks in two minutes. Okay, it's been two and almost three minutes. And you can see the RPI dries shinier and a little bit fuller. This one is fully dry. This one is still dentable, this one is not. Okay, so this is the reason why Dazzle Dry has to be, in order for it to fully dry in five minutes, you have to use a full system because not only the top coat dries in five minutes, but all the coats, the color coats and the base coat dry very, very quickly. All right, so this was, I would say two, three minutes. Now let's do I would say the RPI dried very well as well in that thinner coat. Mm -hmm. Impressive. And we are also going to dry the the Sashvit for 24 hours because initially I know Sashvit, um, it might look good, but I've had some issues with shrinking. So we'll see if we if we have the same issue now. Mm 
Okay. If you are interested in purchasing the Azure Drive system, we do have an affiliate link. So if you could um, use the link, we would super appreciate it. For RPI, we have also affiliate links from Beyond Polish. So those links are going to be in the description box. All right. So let's see how long this coat dries. Probably we're going to give it five minutes. Okay, it's been almost three minutes and I see that the Dazzle Dry is fully dry. Good to go. Mm -hmm. And the RPI is not. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna give it five minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, five minutes and let's see who's winning. Obviously Dazzle Dry is dry. Oh. You're making it worse. Okay, so obviously not dry, but I just realized the shvita has to be applied over a wet nail polish. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it wet enough that you can apply it now? Mm -hmm. Shall we start from the beginning? Okay, we can paint this nail. Oh, heck not. Okay, so I just realized I made a big mistake because it doesn't dry, it doesn't dry. Um, such feet has to be applied over a wet nail polish. So what we're going to do... Lord, it's your fault. We're going to apply it anyway, and we are going to quickly apply the sash feet as it's supposed to be. Mm. Over wet nail polish on the other nail and see if there is a difference. Right? Why not? Why not? In the name of science. Yeah. And I have to say the sash feet is very thick. Even yeah. though it's a brand new bottle. And it smells like toluene. Can you smell it? But it levels out actually nicely. It smells like what? Toluene. It's a solvent oh. that a lot of polishes nowadays don't have anymore. Oh, let me see. Oh, wow. Yeah. I personally don't think there is anything wrong with toluene, but... I'd have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so Dazzle Dry has a very, very nice consistency of the top coat. Um, if you're buying Dazzle Dry, make sure you right away buy the, the drops, the thinner drops, because the polish, because it dries so quickly, it, um, it thickens up in a bottle, which is normal. Don't be scared of, of that. And you just have to thin it out. So we're just going to wipe this nail. And I'm going to follow the same steps as with the other polish, but we're just going to speed it up. But in the meantime, we'll dry the Dazzle Dry and this for five minutes. Okay, so it's supposed to be dry to touch in like a minute, right? But mm -hmm. it's not. See how it's leaving fingerprints let's see that's a dry also leaving finger fingerprints i had some oil on my hand but this one feels drier that's what i'm supposed to set in a minute i think such feet as well okay so i'm going to give this nail a minute so i know that Sesh feet, it's supposed to be applied on a wet um, product polish, but by the time you normally polish all 10 nails, it takes about a minute or two. Okay, we'll see how this feels. Okay, fingerprints. This is not drying very fast. I no? want a refund. Yeah, seriously. Okay, this is dry. It's leaving fingerprints. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to test drying drops and I purchased the Essie drying drops and I'm going to test the Essie nail polish with Essie drying drops. So if you're interested, um, subscribe. <laughs> I was going to say um, we're gonna post it at the end of the video, but no. If you're interested, let us know in the comment section down yeah, below. Yeah, we're going to make it. Okay, so this has been a minute. This is quite wet.
I packed nicely, I have to say. Okay, so this is five minutes for these beauties. This is dry. I also want to test and see if drying drops take away shine, because that would be also interesting. Okay, this is wet. And keep watching, we're gonna do this scratch video. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. You mean the scratch and, test? Yeah, scratch video, scratch test, yes. We're gonna let this dry also for five minutes. Yeah, this is fully dry. This is not fully dry. Okay, so we'll see how this, yeah. Mm. Come on, like that's not. I mean, maybe I expect too much from from such things. Do I? It's no. It feels quite wet. Like a product that. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna make these types of claims, make a product that can actually back up those claims. Yeah, like that's dry. I'm sorry, but if you say one minute, mm -hmm. it means a minute. Mm -hmm. Sixty seconds. because it's applied over wet polish, sorry, over dry polish, it might peel. That's the problem I think with such feet I had, that you are, if you're applying it over um, a dry coat, it might peel off the nail. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Same thing would happen with this one. If you now, if it's fully dry, let's say next day you feel like you want to put another layer of top coat with Dazzle Dry, if you apply it, I think over um, a dry top coat, it's not going to bond. Hmm. You have to put a base coat, so anchor it, and then a top coat again. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We're literally waiting, uh, watching the paint dry right now. Yep. Because you can't see here. Okay, this is better. Okay, so let's wait for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, so 10 minutes for these two, five minutes for this one. Obviously, it's still wet. This is dry. Oops, almost broke your finger. It's like cracked my knuckle. This is still wet. No, no, such feet, come on. It's not even that shiny. How's Dazzle Dry? It's shiny. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, okay hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Wait, wait. We're, we need like a, a special. Here. Hand holder. Yeah, hand holder doodle. so you can guys see a little bit better. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let's just move so we know it's not C and D. <laughs> oh, this way. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah, let's let's do our scratch test. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Double tap. All right. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, not coming off. Scratched, but that's about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm... Just do it on one side or like well, halfway down. Well, you know what, let me, let me do this one first. But don't damage the whole nail because I wanted to see, damage one side because we're gonna wear this and see how it dries fully. So don't damage the whole thing. Wow. Okay, that's worse than the, the uh, Vinylux that we did the other yeah. day. By the way, if you guys want to see how Vinylux dries after... What a potato. Okay. All right. And here we go. No, not as high. Here, halfway. Oh, heckins. What, here? Yeah. Because ah. I want to see if it shrinks, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. Oh. Yeah. I'm not impressed. Okay, so um, if you guys want to see how this looks in 24 hours, keep watching the video. We're going to... He's going to wear these nails for a day and see how this looks. I know. 
Okay, so we are here 24 hours, no, a little bit less, but pretty much a day later. Mm -hmm. So the nails are fully dry now. And so this one had the... Such feet. and with the last color of polish dried. And you know what I see? I see a bit of shrinking here, but it didn't shrink as bad as I thought. So no shrinking here, but there was a little bit of shrinking there. Because the polish was all the way up. Of course, nothing with Dazzle Dry, it's excellent. And this one, let's just see this way. It didn't shrink. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so maybe Sashvit shrinks, because I did have issue with, uh, with Sashvit shrinking. But maybe it doesn't shrink when it's right away applied over like a wet nail polish. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it shrinks on on top of some polishes, but not others. So we're going to test it if you guys are interested over SE, maybe. So let us know in the comment section if you are interested in testing Sesh Feet over SE. Alrighty, guys, this is it for today's video. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you later. Bye. Ciao.